In this video, we're going to look at how you can add listings for venues as well as event rooms and spaces, and then you can assign those listings in your account to things like events and to leads. Uh, so first of all, we're going to look at where you can add your venues and set those up. So click on your name and then click on the settings option here. And then you're going to go to venue manager. Um, you can see I've already added some um, venues and rooms and spaces. And to do that, you can just click on add new venue. Here you would add the venue name, um, the, the address, as well as contact information for that venue. And then the system is going to ask you to add the first space or room for the venue. If there's only one space or room, you can just simply add that here. Um, you can create a color for that space and room um, that will uh, reflect in the master calendar. And if you've got um, a floor plan template already built inside of your account, you can associate this a space or a room with one or more floor plan templates and automatically pull those into the event when you import the venue into the event. Um, you can edit the venue there. You can also delete it. You can add um, multiple spaces or rooms to a venue if you need to do so. Um, you can also edit the um, uh, spaces or rooms you've already added there as well as delete them. And you can also add images to your venues. Um, you would simply click on the empty image icon there and you would select a file from your computer and upload it here. And that will also display inside of the lead or the event. Now let's go to an event. So I'm gonna open up one of my events and here in the left-hand navigation inside of the event dashboard, I click on venues. I can, I've already added a couple venues to this event, but to add another one, I just click on add venue, select the venue, select the space or room in that venue, and I can attach a floor plan template if that's been already set up inside of the settings area. Um, the reservation date and times will default to the event date and time, but you can modify those, for example, if you need to extend those based on setup or teardown times. Now we're going to go to the calendars area where you can view your venue bookings. So right now we're in event view, but if you click view by venue, um, all the sub calendars inside of the master calendar will turn to rooms and spaces so that you can view those venue bookings by date and time. Um, makes it very convenient, especially if you run a venue um, for viewing not just your bookings, but your availability also. So that's how you can set up venues inside of your account, but please do let us know if you have additional questions.